Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2023 Striker 2613 toy hauler travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of this RV, and we'll kind of show you at the end what it looks like with the slide closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Striker 2613 toy hauler travel trailer here. And I just want to kind of start back here in the back. We'll kind of work our way forward, show you what it's all about here. So first things up on the back section here, we have an electric bed system slash dinette system. So right now the two seats are in dinette mode. There is a table system that comes with it. It's kind of a metal tabletop. Uh, with folding legs and they stash it up there underneath the mattress for travel. You could flip this into a bed, sleep some people here or leave it in seat mode. You also have your upper bunk here as well. Up top there is two electric outlets, one on each side. And then you also have a roof vent. You can also see your air conditioner vents and another roof vent a little further forward. The little blue sticker thing there in the ceiling is prepping for the WineGuard Air 360 Plus Gateway Connect feature. That is a feature you can buy aftermarket that already has the 360 Plus antenna on it, but there's a connect feature you can buy, hook up right there, and that would allow you to subscribe to like AT&T or Verizon or somebody and get internet service if you wanted to do such a thing. Uh, there's a little uh, sticker here that just kind of Shows you a little bit about what it looks like right there. Now stepping on to the back area down here, you got a little rubber diamond plate floor to help you get up in here. That is a uh, sloped floor right there. The new patio rail system feature, if you do that feature, that's new for the uh, 2023 version. The older versions were black, uh, so there was a little bit of a difference in how they operated. Has the fold down uh, kind of screen wall here. You also have two lights up top and prepping for the Furion rear observation camera as well. Lots of D-rings in your floor. A ceiling fan in a travel trailer that is very rare to find. Usually that's more of a fifth wheel feature, but they do have a 12 volt ceiling fan up here. Ducted AC system as well. Over here we have a roughly eight cubic foot Dometic gas and electric refrigerator. So they are one of the few still using a propane refrigerator instead of a 12 volt refrigerator or 110 only residential. So for you off the grid or off roaders, you might like this a little bit better. It still has it. Down here we have a air fryer oven. So this part's a little bit different um, than what you're used to seeing in most RVs. So they're doing an air fryer now down here but you still have a three burner gas stove top with the flip down glass lid. Hood range light and fan, traditional microwave. Storage space wise, you do have quite a bit of storage space for a smaller toy hauler. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers as well. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down there. High rise spring sprayer faucet. Uh, this does have the undermount sink as well. You'll see some of the electric outlets will have these little stickers on them. It's because they are inverter prepped. There is a option for upgraded solar and an inverter system, uh, or you can do it aftermarket yourself, but they do prep some of the electric outlets for that inverter as well. Two freestanding Euro style recliners here. 
big window overlooking the awning or door side area of the RV as well. Pull down roller shades on a lot of the windows in the strikers. And then you also have a decent amount of storage here. And then an amplifier up there for the stereo system. There's a couple speakers in the ceiling, some outside, and then another one right here as well, and your radio also right here. Currently using an IRV Technologies radio. Has Bluetooth and stuff on it. And you have side vents as well. Pretty much all linoleum floor in here, except for the sloped part coming up into the RV. Bathroom area right here, so we have the porcelain foot flush toilet, step-in shower, traditional sink and medicine cabinet area here, high ceiling height still in here, skylight up there, there is a roof vent up there as well. We have quite a bit of storage here. And you can get in and out of the bathroom from the bedroom or the hallway area. But that bathroom does have a decent amount of room in there. So if you, you know, get ready to take a shower, you can kind of go in there, get undressed, and get in and out of the shower pretty comfortably where some RV batteries are so small it's hard to do. Uh, but here you do have a decent amount of room. Let's kind of spin back here. You can kind of see the rest of the bedroom area right here. Window on each side of the bed. There is a sliding door there for privacy. There's TV hookups up there as well. So if you wanted to do a small TV in your bedroom area, you could. There's room to kind of move around the bed sideways. You have hanging closet on each side, overhead cabinet space as well. There's a drawer on each side also, electric outlet on each side as well. And then the bed does have a little bit of hidden storage underneath of there. And then you also have some storage down below as well where you can kind of stash some things also. The electric outlet back there is also solar prepped. And you have generator start stop button up there, hour meter. But again, decent amount of room in here. Now this one was ordered with that second AC. So you can kind of see that up there where it would go as well. All right, now we're gonna head back outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV and we're gonna come back in here and close this thing up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Striker 2613 toy hauler travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of work our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior lower black metal skirting, and some vinyl graphics on the outside. The white fiberglass is attached to an Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luan backer, which means the RV wall is a lot less likely to delaminate than a traditional wood backer. You have deep tent safety glass windows, power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. The unit does have an enclosed underbelly. You also have power front and rear stabilizer jacks. Storage compartment up here. It is inverter prepped back in behind here. You have solar disconnect, solar charge controller, a light in here, and there's also prepping for the tire link pressure monitoring system that you could also buy aftermarket. Now this customer is going with a Blue Ox weight distribution sway control system as well. That's what you're seeing sitting in that storage compartment. And you'll also see the Blue Ox brackets on the front as we kind of come back around to the front later. 
triple entrance step getting you in and out of the RV. This is a traditional hover style step. It's rated for 300 pounds, just kind of folds back up in there. And there is kind of a little orange light down there as well. RV entry door and screen doors, kind of a plain normal door does have the window in it and also does have the window that is Lippert thin shade ready. So there's an aftermarket shade you can buy to go in there as well if you wanted to. Large folding entry handle. You do also have a traditional porch light up there. Two outdoor speakers up high. The little black rectangle coming down there next to the porch light is one of the side vents. There's one on each side. That basically allows you to vent out fumes when you're traveling down the road. Next to your entry door here, you're gonna see things like the enclosed underbelly sticker here, just kind of reminding you of the extended season protection package, forced air heat into the underbelly. Three year limited structural warranty. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is in the RV industry. Most manufacturers are only one. Your model number is located there. You also have a electric outlet and a cable outlet here as well. That electric outlet is also part of the inverter prep. You'll see that little white sticker on a few of the outlets throughout the RV. So if you do put an inverter in there, it can be wired into some of the electric outlets and works pretty nicely. Down below here, you can also see this unit has Goodyear Endurance tires, aluminum wheels, easy loop hubs, and drum brakes. You're also going to notice right here, you do have the uh, Dexter center point suspension upgrade. But besides having that, look underneath the here, you also have shocks as well. Very few campers have shocks, let alone the Dexter part as well. So this is really trying to help protect your ride that you might have in there. You know, if you got a nice Harley or a really cool Razor or something, you know, this is trying to help protect those things from getting beat up going down the road by putting a really nice suspension system on the toy hauler. The back jacks, again, are also power. You can see those down there. Now, the spare tire is also up underneath it here. And then the fuel station underneath it there as well. You'll see that when we get around to the other side. Ordered with the patio ramp system on this one. You have a couple docking lights up high up there. Also prepped for the rear observation camera by Furion. Would definitely recommend doing that. That is a great safety feature to consider adding. On the top right corner up here, we have the prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. It's a telescoping ladder you can buy aftermarket. It'll attach right there, allowing you to climb up and down on and off your uh, roof there so you can kind of do your inspections and stuff from time to time. Another side vent here, the fuel fill up station right here along with the pump itself. Now the Striker has a gas and electric refrigerator. So you'll see these two black panels here. Those are removable inspection panels and vent panels. Those right there basically allow for that heat that is created from the absorption uh, gas refrigerator set up here. And that kind of allows for maintenance and again, heat escape. You also have that stove exhaust vent right there as well. Detachable power cord right here. That's probably about 25 or 30 feet long, roughly. You do have your uh, black tank flush here, furnace exhaust here, uh, power cord again hooking up here, cold water spray port, city water inlet, satellite and cable inlets, and your gravity fill fresh water tank. Now, just down below, you can see that little white thing sticking down there. That is the dump for the fresh water. Over here, you have gray and black handles to dump as well. Water heater is gas and electric. It is a larger water heater coming in at roughly 10 gallons, where a lot of them are only six gallons. Also ordered with the Onan 4000 watt generator on this model. This is a gasoline generator. Some very important informational stickers here as far as production date. 
Most importantly on this sticker is going to be your gross vehicle weight, 12,800 pounds. That's the most the RV can weigh, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that. Model number here, uh, you'll also see like axle sizes and things like that as well. Cargo carrying capacity stickers here, kind of breaking out the fresh water and everything for you. Tire size, ST23580R16 E-range tires. So you'll have quite a bit of informational stuff there on those stickers to kind of learn about and inspect and check out. The front of the RV has a really nice heavy duty three quarter fiberglass front cap, multiple LED light strips built in. The lower part is a removable and replaceable aluminum metal. Um, so if you do get some rocks that fling up and dent and ding it kind of thing, it's pretty easy to replace versus a rock smashing into the fiberglass having to refiberglass and repaint things. Two propane tanks under the hard bottle cover here, power tongue jack, LED light strip in that as well, uh, also manual override in case of an electronic failure. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chain, seven way barbman wire and plug. Then you also have your battery disconnect back here as well. Room for one or two batteries to go behind the gas bottles there as well. It comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. Uh, it does come with at least one battery from Couches RV Nation if you purchase from them. I would definitely consider if you're going to be more of an off the grid person to maybe consider adding a second battery as well. All right, we're going to head back inside real quick. I want to show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2023 Striker 2613 model here. And I just wanted to show you real quick what it looks like closed on the inside and outside and show you how it opens. So right now I have it already closed up for you. Just kind of cheated a little bit here to get on through this a little quicker. But it is all closed up and you can kind of see here looking forward. You know, that slide comes in about, I'd say, close to three inches to the left of your D-rings right there. I still have full access to pretty much everything in the RV, except for one lower set of cabinets there to the left of the sink. Other than that, I can still use this thing. You can see that little cabinet area right down there. I can't get to that. But I got full access to the bathroom, the bedroom, the bunk area, you know, my living room area here. I'm not really losing a whole lot other than a couple feet of space on the inside. Now, step out here real quick. Just want to kind of show you what it looked like with the slide closed on the outside as well. Then we're going to run back in here and uh, open it up for you. So real simple, nice clean look. Please be sure to remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a ton of money on a new RV if you're interested in that kind of thing. Now, stepping up inside here, right there's your control panel again, like we showed you earlier. And we're just gonna hit that slide button to take this thing right on out. Now, if you are interested in keeping up with more of my RV videos, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It does definitely help me out channel-wise very much on the Google or the uh, YouTube stuff here. But quick, easy. All right. Thanks again.